Hey BBs, it's Plastic. It's Hey Mac with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing very, very, very well. In today's video, I went, I went to the flea market earlier in the day. It was like 6 o'clock in the morning, y'all. I was up really early and I found a bunch of dolls at the flea market. So I'm going to give you guys like a flea market doll haul. It's like May, I think, 28th. Um, That's the day that I went. But it's late at night currently because it's been one of those days where like you haven't kept caught a break and I haven't really well I didn't want to like clean up any of these dolls before like showing you guys what, the, what they look like beforehand because like that would be really rude on my end to like not show y'all like the beginnings of these messes and I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys what I got at the flea market today because I love doll hauls I love watching them and I hope you guys enjoy them too and I think I spent a hundred dollars roughly on all the items that I got today so everything included was a hundred dollars so I thought that'd be kind of fun to show you guys what I found at my flea market and I have a whole Ikea bag full of things I'm going to try to go in chronological order, but I can't remember exactly. But the first thing that I did buy was the Barbie Fashionista Style and Swap In. This is with the Artie one. It's Nikki. I'm going to call her Nikki. Um, she is so cute. She's in her box, and this was like 25 bucks, which at a flea market, mm, but it was like a Barbie collector, so I was like, it's like she knew what this was worth. And I think I got, I got a good deal because I checked Macari like a couple like minutes after because I wanted to see like if I got a good deal, you know, because I'm not like the biggest barbie brain like i don't know everything that's happened with miss barb but i knew this was gonna be like like i hope i got a good deal and it was like 50 dollars on macari so like i'm pretty happy with the 25 dollars um and i just think she's so pretty and i think i'm gonna take her out of the box because i'm not really an inbox collector and this would also be really awkward in my inbox doll collection because a lot of my inbox dolls are like newer monster high dolls like real drama creep productions Ge generation three and i have brats in box our 20th anniversary and i have omg dolls in box and like that's really it um, so, like, this wouldn't really fit in my inbox collection, because it's, like, so, it's not so old, but it's not, like, current. I, I, like, I could start an older collection, just, like, in my head, like, it would feel really awkward. Um, and if I ever find her again in box, like, I feel like it'll be fine. But this one's, like, not, it just, like, looks kind of gross, and, like, I know I could clean it, but I'm so lazy. Um, here's her barcode if anyone want, wants it. Um, but let me know if you guys want, like, a review on her. I know she's kind of older and you can't really buy her, but, like, I don't know, I feel like it's fun to talk about. Also, the marketing on this was super interesting. Like, I like that you can, like take them all apart so i want to try the head feature as well i'm like super curious about it because i remember seeing this commercial like when it was airing on like nickelodeon days and i was always so curious about the fashion head things but it was like i think around the time where i started gr to grow into monster high more so like i wasn't really interested in barbie but i would have loved to own her but also she's like the fun articulated body i like this artic articulated body so much it's so cute and it's really really fun i found this my scene doll she was also i think 25 so it was like again like why did i buy this doll i just they had she had a couple of them she had like three I, this was like the one of the th three that i bought or one of the three that was there and the one like the third one that i like picked out to like have and stuff because i don't own that many nolis i only own one noli doll and this doll has saran hair and i also really like her funky little makeup um, and she's wearing this really interesting outfit. It says my scene on the inside, so I'm assuming it's my scene. But um, she said it was like an original my scene outfit that she like redressed under her. I think this is shopping spree Noli. Um, and I'll try to give y'all an up close look at the end over my desk because like who can actually see this? Um, but I'm really really interested to see like what outfit this is because this does not seem like a my scene outfit. This kind of maybe it's like movie magic or what? Well, not movie magic. What's the one? What's the one called? I don't know. But she's like my scene shoes, which is like really sold me because like. Oh, wait, they're not even her skin tone. Ooh, that's embarrassing, girl. But isn't she pretty? Just pretend like, you know. And she needs her hair washed and stuff. It's kind of, yikes. But I'm excited because I don't own that many Noli dolls. And, like, I wanted her. I think those are my most expensive dolls that I bought. And the rest of this should be, like, more um, flea market pricing. The dolls that I got, it was, like, at the, at the inside part of it. Because, like, you know, like, some flea markets, like, there's an inside part and there's an outside part. I found Miss... Ghoul's Getaway Spectra for $14. No, she was $20. <clears throat> she was $20. And she looked good to be complete. Um, she has, like, I think this is Saran hair. It's a really nice color for her. It's super gluey, though. Like, it's so gluey and it's gross. But um, really cute face. And it's a very simple outfit. I love these shoes, though. I love these. And I've never seen this doll in person. Like, because, I again, like, I was kind of out of Monster High when these started to come out. Like, these were, like, very late in the Gen 1. But I'm happy that I have the, you know, ability to experience her now. And this is really annoying. Um, but this is a very just cheap doll. Um, but I love these shoes. End of G1, though, was a really weird time for the brand. So this doll kind of feels like, um, she feels really, like, out of place. Because a lot of the Monster High dolls that were, like, late G1, like the budget dolls, even, like, during G1, they had better fabric quality. And this just feels, like, cheap. But she was 20 bucks. So I'm like, 
monster hideouts that are clothed in like complete enough that I think she's complete. I can't remember. Um, for twenty dollars in twenty twenty three, I'm already sold because like recently I haven't really been buying monster hideouts from like G one because like they're super expensive on Macari and eBay and stuff. I'm like whatever. Like G Generation three can like hold me over until like the the you know collector thing explodes or whatever. And um, I was just excited to find her because I don't have that many. I don't, I don't, but G1 is my biggest collection, but like, I don't, I haven't found a new Generation 1 doll in a really long time. Even, like, the crew productions, like, there's nothing been new. We had a real drama. Oh, we have, like, okay, actually, the Selector dolls. Those are, like, technically G1, but, like, I like actual G1 dolls. Also, in the same seller, I found... This is very unorganized, y'all. This Spectre of Honor Grace for 15... She has, uh, has her little tag on. $14.99. And this doll is also pretty much complete. She has her mask. She has her little nightgown and her slippers she doesn't have her ipod thing but she has all of her limbs and for 15 bucks y'all i can't be mad at that like i can't like she definitely needs you know her hair done and all that fun stuff but i'm excited to wash her up and just give her a nice boil wash and give her a glue treatment actually she doesn't have that much she doesn't have an ink glue i think she has a soft squishy head okay okay miss girl um she's so cute though and i've been wanting this doll for a while but she's like one of those dolls that like I'd only really buy if I saw her in person, you know what I mean? Like, this isn't a doll that I'd go out and, like, search for on eBay. She's just, like, a budget Monster High doll. But for 15 bucks in person, no shipping fees, pretty, pretty, pretty happy. So, and I don't like to go in the inside parts of the flea market, but those are my two little finds. And the seller had a bunch of other Monster High dolls, but um, they were really expensive. And I didn't want to record inside because it felt weird. Was, that, that was fun, though. Um, I love seeing that. Mm, that lady, the person that I bought from yelled at me, like, two years ago when I went to her flea market. And I bought a $30 Wave 1 Claudine. Like, she's not over the call at hands, but, like, she's Wave 1. Um, so, sorry, girl. I don't know why she was yelling at me. It was a mess. Because I, actually, what happened was I was walking in the store. And I, I was, like, 16 at the time, I guess. And she thought I was, like, a young kid, which I, I do look young. But, like, she was like, no, you need to have a parent, da 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 And she, like, screamed at me to get out of her store. I did get the Claudine doll because my parents were there. But, um, you're all gonna gag when you see what I found. I was talking about her a while ago, but this is from the 2009-ish era of fashionistas. I think this is Sporty, her first wave doll. She's nude, and she doesn't have everything, but she has, like, her earrings and, like, if y'all understood the like I when I saw this doll, she's only a dollar, so like she's naked and whatever like a dollar Barbie, like I don't like I never would move. But this is like the fashionista. I was so excited to find her. Y'all like I've been hunting for this doll for the longest time. And I don't have her clothes, so if anyone has her clothes, DM me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, a comment, I don't know. Let me know if y'all are selling her clothes for a reasonable price because I need them so bad. But she's so cute and I'm just so happy to finally like have her in my hands, even though she's again not complete. But this is one of my Grail Barbie dolls. So I think I even mentioned her in like a Barbie wish list video that I made a while ago. So so stoked to have this doll in my claws. She is so cute. And I love the articulated body. Like I was playing with it in the car. Like this might be my favorite find of the day out of like everything, just because she's like she's like so like move in. I don't know. I'm so excited about her though. She's so fierce. Um, we also found, though, um, a really- I'm gonna be very careful with this doll, because for one dollar, y'all, I was so gagging. It's movie Jade, um, and I'm gonna be very careful, because this glitter is all over everything. It was all over my car, it was all over- not my car. It was all over the car, it was all over the Ikea bag, it's all over the, all the dolls, it's all over my- my sweater, my mom's sweater. She's a mess. But we have movie Jade for a dollar. No, I don't think she has any haircuts. Her hair is in a mess, but, um- these lashes are so good. I love her face. Like, she, the dress is a mess, and I'm probably going to restyle it. I know I have to put Mod Podge over it, because that's what I did with my Yasmin one. Um, the dress is a mess, and I don't want to touch it. But she has her shoes and everything, and she has all of her arms. These ones are usually hard to find with her arms. And I love the movie. I think I was just talking about this literally yesterday. I love the movie Bratz bodies. I think they're so good, and I'm so happy to have another one. I love the Bratz movie bodies. Um, she doesn't have all of her, like, she's missing her earrings. She has one of them. Um, but I'm just so excited about her. Like, I, this is one of those dolls that is, like, more, not, like, more expensive, but, like, she's, like, 40-ish, regularly 40, 50. Definitely don't want to spend that much money on her. But for a dollar, you sold me. Um, and I haven't found a Bratz doll in the flea market since 2021. And, like, I mean that. There's been no Bratz dolls in my area. So this was, felt like a grace or something. I don't know. Like, it's so cool to find Bratz dolls in the wild in 2023 before the resellers got her count me in ma so i was super excited about her and we also have some more things 
So these are all from the last seller that I bought from. He was a really cute little guy. He had all these like Barbies and stuff and he was just selling them. They were all $2 each. And this is, I forget which fashionista this is, but she's like the purple one. And she has like the cute little body. She's missing a shoe, but for $2, I was like, I would definitely regret not getting her. Um, but she's like a little side glance. I, I recognize her though, because I recognize her from like either a multi-pack or a big six pack or something. She's one of the Barbie somethings. She's from the Fashionista line and she's gonna go right next to the one that I just bought. Um, isn't she so cute though? Um, I have to like give her new shoes and like maybe I'll find the other one, but um, she, she, she has a really bad glue bitch, but she's like a little blue streak. So I'm really excited about her. We also have another Barbie from like kind of the Fashionista's line. I think this is like a hair nail one. She was $2 and she had a dress on and I was like, whatever, like, I don't mind that. Like, look at how pretty she is though. Uh, this face is like my favorite face of Barbie ever. And I just like, every time I see it, I'm like, I have to get one of them. And I saw this face so many times today, but this, like, see the glitter on her face? Isn't she so pretty? She has Kanekla on hair. Um, and I'm probably gonna boil it, but she's so cute. I love her so much. I have two more Barbie dolls left and I'm gonna put the rest of them on the floor because I'm kind of sick of reaching for it. This one is like a doo-doo doll because I bought her for the dress because I noticed, I was like thinking about it, like, like as I was walking around, I'm like, I don't have an outfit for this doll. So this doll was $2, but like she has her hair cut off. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this doll. Does anyone want her? Like, I feel kind of bad, but, um, this is the era of Barbie that I don't collect and she's like a really bad bob. So that's her. I don't know. Maybe I'll donate her. Does any, like, would a kid want her? Um, but I got this dress from her because I wanted this. Like, I know it's not perfect, but it's, like, something, you know? So I hope everything goes right with this because I really only bought that for this dress. I've seen this dress before. I think it's on, like, a Halloween Barbie. I can't remember it. I'm very bad at identifying Barbie stuff because I'm more for, like, a Monster High Bratz person. Um, so, but, like, this is my air. I think this is from, like, the 2010s era though if i'm correct it's it feels like it feels like a 2010s era piece just by like how it's constructed and everything um maybe it's from like millie i don't know she's it's not bad you know she's wearing clothes okay and it's like kind of edgy there's like a rib cage on it it's pink pink and black that's kind of her gimmick i can work with i think this is fine it's not perfect but it's it, it'll work and I do have one last doll. And this doll, I remember, I recognize so vividly from my childhood. It's this one. I think she's wearing a Mycene piece because this looks very familiar. I remember seeing this in, like, someone's collection recently. That's so cute, but she's so familiar. Like, what is she from? And she's, like, the big feet. And she's, like, clinky legs. Who is this Barbie doll? I want to know so badly because, like, maybe she's, like, a dolphin trainer or, like, a water one. I can't remember, but I like I I remember having her. Like I remember those earrings so vividly, and I remember that little like middle part. She's so cute though. I love her so much. And that was all my flea market finds. I'm gonna show you guys all over my desk where it's like a better picture and everything. But I thought this was a really really fun haul, and I definitely enjoyed all of my finds throughout the flea marketing. And I, I don't always go y give y'all hauls when I go to flea marketing because. A lot of the times it's like one or two things, if that, that's like my lucky days. And this is like a lucky, lucky day for me because the ones around me just haven't been bumping like they used to be. Um, so I don't know, but I'm happy with what I can find always. That's kind of the dog collecting journey. It's not like you're going to pop out with like a $50, 50 bin of Bratz dolls and like that's your Bratz collection. Like that's not what you need to expect when you go to the flea market. That can happen on a very like, you know, whatever. But um, for the realistic parts, like this is like my biggest haul this season and it's crazy. I'm like actually so pumped about it. And I'm really excited to clean these all up. This might be one of my biggest flea market doll hauls ever. Cause again, I, it's hard to find things right now, but um, I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna give y'all guys a little close up and we'll exit out this little video. Jade is first just to show you guys like the up close of her face and it is dirty and everything, but I think the lashes are pretty much good. The hair is definitely just needing a little TLC and this is shedding so quickly. So I'm gonna put this quickly and back into my Ikea bag because there's glitter all over my hands now. Yay. Um, here is the sporty doll. Like, look at that face. She is so gorgeous. Um, and I'm really excited about this little outfit that I got for her. Again, we have, like, Tennis Club Barbie. This looks like a Noli outfit, though. Like, I think I've seen this outfit on Noli, to be honest with you guys. Isn't she so cutesy patootsy? We also have my Dead Tired Spectra now, which I'm so excited about. She is so gorgeous, Lena. And yes, that was a little price tag, which I probably overpaid for, but whatever. Gorgiana, like, see? It's everywhere. Barbie is so cute. And if anyone has any idea, like, identification tips for, like, the Barbie dolls, just let me know in the comments below, because I could probably find them, but I'm kind of lazy. But isn't she? She is gorgeous. Um, this outfit is something. And I only have one shoe. I'm kind of, you know, annoyed about that. 
Um, we also have this little spectra. She's a little bit funky up close, but I can definitely fix those lips, I think. And Miss Noli. She's so cute. What does this go to, though? Like, it literally says my scene, and I'm, like, so interested in it. So if anyone has any idea on that, and then this is Miss Nikki, who I definitely think it's time to take out of the box. But, like, she's so pretty. If y'all want to see her view, again, just let me know in the comments below, because, um, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I think I'm... I don't know. Maybe I'll open her on, like, a live stream or, like, a bigger video or something, because I just think she's so interesting. We also have her. Um, she's scary, so, yeah. But, again, thank you guys, I guess, for watching today's video. It was so much fun to kind of show you guys my haul, and I'm super excited to clean all these dolls up. Um, yeah, so thank you guys again, though, so, so, so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Please have a fun and fierce day, and we'll see you guys all very soon. Love you all very much. Bye! Mwah.